was the talk of the village. The noble farmer's youngest son had wished him dead and demanded not only his inheritance now, but the right to dispose of it. Incredibly, the father agreed, and to the disgust of all, the boy went off to the far land with his pockets bulging. No more farm work. It's party time! And he partied hard until his pockets were empty, at which time they were hit with famine. Each to their own now for survival, and his new friends quickly disappeared. The young man fixated himself on one citizen with land, so ended up herding and feeding pigs as a Jew who hated pigs. A shocking scenario for the listeners of this parable. He even tried eating their food, but they had no nutritional value, and he was gradually starving when he came to his senses. He took the long trek home to see if his father would take him back as a hired worker. He knew he had done wrong, and he could earn his forgiveness. Yet when the father saw him in the distance, he ran to reach him first and threw his arms around him and kissed him as a public sign of his forgiveness. The father had always loved him and always would, however he messed up. He was lost to him before he had left home, so the only way he could get back his son was to give him the free will to mess up. He knew that the boy would fail on his own and he was patiently waiting to bring him home, not as a disgruntled young man that hated him, but as a dear son who now loved him back. The boy confessed that he had wronged his dad and wronged his God, but he never got to ask to be hired as a servant so he could earn his forgiveness because the father had already loved him back in as a son. The real harm he had done was to that relationship, and he could never pay that back. All he could do was accept his father's forgiveness as a free gift and fall into his loving arms. Jesus is making it clear to us that whether we have done a little wrong or a lot wrong, we can never earn our forgiveness. We can only accept it as a free gift. This is made possible because he died for us on the cross. His spilt blood means that our Father God sees that Jesus has paid the price of all our bad ways and he can make us part of his family now with the promise of the Holy Spirit to enrich our lives and the treasure of heaven to follow. Whatever you have done wrong, you cannot be separated from the boundless and infinite love of God. He's waiting patiently, as he always has been, for you to say sorry and to come home. Don't stay lost. Amen.